I had to restart this vlog because excuse me anyway good morning guys or hi guys welcome back to my channel today is black friday yesterday was thanksgiving i hope you and your family had an amazing thanksgiving and the people that you're thankful for were there to celebrate with you and i hope that all like all the blessings and all and i don't know like i just hope everything good for you and i'm so thankful for you guys i know that I, we don't we're not a big family here but i'm thankful for you because you guys keep watching me and keep motivating me to make more videos and i know that i can be a little unhinged sometimes and a little feral oh my god look like my friend drew oh my god it's so weird um i know i haven't been posting for the past couple of days but i i needed to take a break honestly um a couple of days ago at work i broke down and i just started crying out of nowhere so i needed to take a couple of days for myself and i'm thankful that i did because if i have, if i didn't i would definitely not been okay today but i'm glad i did and hopefully you guys had to get to spend time with your loved ones i know that i've been very adamant about it lately and i hope you guys have okay so moving along yesterday for thanksgiving I didn't really celebrate it. I was in bed by nine. <laughs> um, what I did do, I visited to every family members that I knew that I had to go to and like spend a couple of hours with them. And then I went home. So for instance, I went to my aunt's house first with my boyfriend. He went with me to all of my family houses that I went to. We went to my aunt's house. Um, we didn't, we couldn't eat there. So I packed all of my food and took it home. I went to my parents' house. My little sister made me do this little TikTok with them. I was wearing literally the same shirt. <laughs> I was wearing the same shirt. It was the cutest thing. She made me do like a little TikTok with them about the housewives. I was like, oh my God, we should do this. And they were like, okay. And my little sister was like, just say this. And she would just say it. It was so cute. So I did that with my sisters. Then I only like had the entree and i mean the appetizer excuse me not even the entree because we left um and then we left to my boyfriend's aunt's house that he really wanted to go to then you know they were having like a full-on party and you know like i'm murmuring right now and i'm grieving and when you are in during the nine days you're not supposed to listen to music you're not supposed to listen to anything and my boyfriend was being so i'm so thankful for my boyfriend because when we were um driving to those places we were dri driving in silence because he knows that i cannot listen to any music and stuff and and that is like very respectful because for him he's like he's not mur murmuring he's not grieving but he was being respectful of me that i didn't want to listen to music and be like, like on a full-on party anyway when we got to his aunt's house they had a full-on party and you know i was respectful i went in and i say hi to everyone and i introduced myself he was introducing me to his family because i never met that side of his family before except for one of his cousins that sold me this car <laughs> um And that's a whole nother story because we're basically neighbors. I'm growing up, but that's a whole nother story. <sighs> anyway, so um, that's that. And I told him, hey, do you mind if I leave? And do you can you ask one of your cousins to either, either you can drop me off at the house and then you can take the car or if they can drop you off at the house and he said no just leave the car one of my cousins can take me home and i said okay so i left i got home like i ate something i was in bed by nine bitch i was rocked and i this morning i woke up super early and because i'm working today all day at sephora i'm in center city today i'm in chestnut um but by the time that you see this video bitch i'm gonna be gone because you know that i always upload at 7 p.m my uploading time is 7 p.m every day and um but that's that for thanksgiving so that was my thanksgiving please comment down below how was your thanksgiving because i would love to know if you celebrate if you don't i for me 
I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because that's not like, you know, a holiday that is like, you know, I'm just thankful. And I'm, I, I know that I'm thankful every single day. You know, I don't only do it for Thanksgiving. I do it like always. I'm thankful for my friends. Um, you know, I have like a very close friendship with someone. I always mention her. She's amazing. I love her so much. And, you know, I communicate with her every single day. I'm so thankful for her. I'm, think I'm thankful for my friends here in Philly, you know, like all of them. I have one that is like my sister and I love her so much. She's like a mother to me. I, I, she's not like a mother to me. She's like a big sister to me. Because, like, you know, she's not an old bitch. Um, I'm thankful for everyone in my life. I'm thankful for my family. You know, it is hard. But whatever. My aunt's night days ends tomorrow. So after tomorrow, life is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, we call it luto. Like, I'm still in luto. And um, it's nice. Okay, so back to today's video so today's video i know that it's not a thanksgiving related or black friday related video because i'm not shopping today like i'm really not shopping today bitch because i'm broke and that's the truth i might look rich but i'm actually broke i probably have five dollars in my bank account bitch like that is disgusting actually i probably have a little bit more because i got paid today from this job and i'm broke so i need to save money because i might go to vancouver for christmas because my brother is his first Christmas without his mom and I think and I was I was talking to my family about it and my boyfriend he said yeah like I just you know just let me know I can just get you your flight and you can just go and spend some Christmas with him and so he's not alone and lonely and you know I've been thinking about it like I thought about it on the last video that I that I posted I think and I said oh my god that is so true like I can definitely do that I can 100% hold on I can 100% go to Vancouver and spend some Christmas time with my brother. I have mangoes. I might eat these. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to eat the first thing too. And then the five, I'm still hungry and eat this. Then I have mozzarella with bread. Mozzarella. I'm basically Italian if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like everything. I can pass as Middle Eastern. I can pass as Indian. I can pass as obviously Latina, but I am Latina. I can pass as Pacific Islander. I can pass. I can. If I tell people that I'm Asian, they'll probably believe it. So I can pass as Asian. I can pass as anything. European, which I'm basically am European in a way. Like, you know, like I grew up European, so who cares? And I have this yogurt that you know I love, um, but it has a lot of calories, so it's the last one that I have. It has cornstarch, bitch. Like, you shouldn't eat cornstarch. It has past, oh, you know what it has. I read you the list last time. But it's, um, it has 24 gram of sugar and of added sugar, and 50 gram of added sugar, and a total of 21 grams of sugar, including 15 grams of added sugar. It doesn't have any fiber, 10% iron. It doesn't have any vitamin D, but who cares? I drink my vitamins okay this morning so this is that so we're gonna eat that right now with the bread and the mozzarella and then for since last night i have i had a horrible headache so i don't drink anymore um and i don't drink anymore not because you know i do drink like it's not like i don't drink for anything like i do drink if i want to but i rather not drink but I haven't drank since a while. <laughs> and, you know, unfortunately, when you get older, you cannot drink cheap wine. You know, I love cheap wine because wine is so cheap. <laughs> Girl, if it's a $2 wine, I'll buy it. But I cannot drink it anymore because it gave me a headache. So my aunt made a, made a sangria cocktail. I didn't want to drink it, but she was like, you know what, just take a little bit like you know i know that you're mourning right now but you're not you know this is not a celebration drink you're just like you know so like you can have something in your head i'm like okay whatever and girl when i tell you i took three sips and but it wasn't because of that it's because i haven't drank in a while but then i went to my parents house and i couldn't drink so i didn't drink at all and then at my boyfriend's family house i didn't want to like say no because you know i'm easier saying no like at my parents house my parents house everybody's like oh you want a beer you want wine you want a cocktail i said no i don't want it i don't want to drink i don't drink i don't want to drink 
and they respect it because you know it's my i feel more comfortable saying no on my house than at someone else's house if that makes sense because i don't want to be disrespectful to the host so the host at um the host at the host at my boyfriend's aunt's house the aunt mm -hmm. which is so good she was like oh my god i made a cocktail like a sangria do you want to even have it i'm like oh my god i would eat that like not right now you go no i'll go have it right now i'm like okay so i went and got it but it was so sweet bitch it made my head worse and i never get headaches you know and because it made my head worse i was like babe like i need to go so i left home i took a shower i took a shower i took my makeup off and everything i went to bed i even couldn't watch tv which is not something to complain about because i shouldn't have and i just went to bed i was just gone and that happened but anyway i don't know what i'm talking honestly like i don't know what i'm talking about like i don't know what's happening right now like i don't even know what's going on but this bread let's talk about the food since i don't know what to talk about it's so soft my boyfriend get it from this local bakery so soft you can literally just eat it like that you don't have to toast it if you don't want to but when you toast it like it gets so like crunchy on the outside and then so soft in the inside it's so fucking good mm. obsessed and i love mozzarella so another thing about me recently i stopped eating dairy and i'm it's coming to me because i my stomach is going crazy right now my boyfriend thinks that i'm lactose intolerant mm. nice, give me coffee One shot of espresso. One shot of espresso. Ice. The skinny creamer that I told you about. And almond milk. Another one that you buy, but that's no problem. Just use the one that you buy if that's what you use. Make it yourself. I make it myself. And I taught you, I think, how to make it before. I don't know. I don't remember. Mm. Anyway, every time I eat this, I this is my last one. You want me like four? Every time I eat it, my stomach will go crazy. Although I don't have a problem with yogurt. And I think it's this yogurt because it's so much sugar. And I've cut sugar significantly in the stuff that I eat because usually sugars are in things that you consume regularly, like juices and things like that. But I've cut sugar significant, significantly, significantly in the things that I eat. And I think that because of that, my i feel so much better like i'm okay so i have pcos bitch and if you have pcos you better listen to this advice i know that the one is watching at this point because it's like what 14 minutes i know you guys don't hate my long vlogs and that's fine but if you're still watching and you want to like better yourself and like better your like the way that you eat in general and i'm not calling you out or anything because obviously i'm fat like i am fat like that's the truth and you know i'm not wanting it to be skinny although i want to be so skinny bitch i don't want to look like skinny disappear like i want to look like me skinny like my body's skinny and although that you know like my body's skinny is not like the skinniest my body's skinniest is skinny is going to be like you know no stomach and like you know what i mean so i um get my period now i used to never get my period and i get my period regularly and my friend kelly has helped me a lot too 
excuse me by telling me what vitamins actually work because you know you have to also like that's another thing i didn't know like honestly i knew that not all vitamins are made equal but it's very important that you get your vitamins from a somewhere that is reliable and is ethically sourced and it actually has things that actually work because some people just put any anything on vitamins fillers and stuff bunch of fillers that is not, just gonna do worse things to you put extra plastic inside of you oh and i don't eat as much pork anymore and i'm gonna tell you why i don't eat pork anymore i ate some yesterday because culturally pork is huge in the dominican republic mm. i kind of want to finish the yogurt i'm over this bread it's too much I don't want to be too full. And I need to finish this block in like four minutes. So I have to tell you why I don't eat pork anymore. Really. And then my lipstick with you. Okay, let me tell you. So. I found out. I knew this before, by the way. I just didn't. Pay attention. But when you eat an animal, doesn't matter if it's chicken, pork, whatever. There are things in what that they that they eat that is not digested, and you and consume that as well. So with pork, there have been found that if a pork eats plastic, like microplastics and things like that. And then the same pork gets, you know, for you, for you to eat it. Those microplastics that they didn't digest, you're going to consume it and you're not going to digest them. And then you're, it's going to be inside of you. So if you have microplastic, it's probably because of the food that you eat. And I heard that also pork has a bacteria that you don't digest. And honestly, like I'm... I'm full of bacteria. I'm fat. Like, I have hormonal issues, hormonal imbalance. I don't need more bacteria in my in my system that I cannot digest. So, no more pork for me. I can live without it. I can live without pork. And I've been eating more chicken. I remember telling you guys that I hate chicken. Because chicken, I can feel like I, feel like I can smell it. To be honest, I'm trying to, like stay away from meats in general I don't really like turkey my favorite beef I don't know like to be honest I don't know why I eat meat I hate it so much I really do hold on let me finish eating this All right, my love, it's time for me to go. Ooh. Um, We're going to do my lipstick together, and then I'm leaving. Because I have to go to work, unfortunately. You know, I only use one lip liner. And we're going to use that lip liner today. And that is the um, Huda Beauty Lip Contour. And that color that I use is called Warm Brown. That's like the only lip liner that I love right now. I have a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury lip liner that I hate. I don't hate it. I just don't feel comfortable with them. And I feel like this one makes my lip look like lipping. They're nice and pretty. It was my first day. I don't know. I don't know why you're shopping. Like, why am I here working? I should have called off, honestly. Like, why are you shopping? Like, seriously, why the fuck are you shopping in store? You can get the same deal online. Like, what are you doing here? 
Um, and then this lip gloss I've been loving so much. It's so fucking cute. I'm like obsessed with it. You see this? It's so pretty, super natural, very wow, Fanny. Like you look so pretty. I'm not gonna waste my perfume here. Also, I have to show you something else, but I do it in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. I know that I'm annoying. You know that. Like, you know that I know. You don't have to tell me because I know, you know. I might do another video later today um, of me talking shit here in my car again. So, this is not the last, the last of me that you're going to see. For your own fortunate. For your own fortune. I know this video is pretty long, but you know, I had to explain myself of why I was MIA. Which I really don't have to explain shit, but you know, I like you some, sometimes. And I love you guys so much. And I'm just trying to make up for me not being around this week. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been around this week, you know. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope that you guys are not mad at me. Um, and I love you so, so fucking much. And um maybe i'll see you for next next week's oh like tomorrow's video tomorrow i'll see you tomorrow because you know i'll upload every day and um let me know by the way do you guys like this long vlogs because i know i had time today so that's why i filmed like a long ass vlog but do you guys or do you guys prefer like the smaller little vlogs like i have a friend that is also is a youtuber like she's a full-on youtuber she's like so pretty she has an amazing vibe i'm gonna link her video that her um channel down below should I link it? Yeah, I should link it. Um, she's like so freaking pretty and like fabulous. Like she has this two beautiful dogs. Anyway, she um uploads long vlogs like about her life during the week and stuff. So um she does like longer videos, but now she started doing shorter videos. And I'm like, oh my god, that is so cool. Like with my people that likes my videos, like my friends and family. And you guys, would you guys like a smaller, like, longer videos? Like, this, like, 20 minutes or, like, shorter videos, like, 10 minutes? Because I know, like, my attention span is, like, super low. And I know that I talk a lot of shit. Like, I know that. But not all of you guys are going to get here. Because I know you guys will click out of the video five minutes in. I think I don't know. Yes, I do. I do know. I know everything about you. Because I know who you are. Because I am you. So, um, let me know. Okay? Have a great fucking day, bitch. Love you. Bye.